July 4th, 2010. I've spent years in denial about what I saw, about its inevitability, the end of time. I wanted to believe maybe Jack was right. Maybe all this could be undone, erased. I looked for proof, a loophole, something. Jack's parents died in a car crash, 1999. I thought, maybe if I could stop it from ever happening, if that were possible, then... I failed. I failed every time. Every time I tried to make things right. This is our destiny. The good and the bad, intrinsically tied to this path. It can't be bent. It can't be broken. No matter whether we succeed or fail, it still comes. I see it every night in my dreams, scraping away at my mind. The end of time is coming. And the only way I've been able to keep sane is by focusing on the present. What's here? Now, in front of me. But today, today is different. My whole life, I've had a mission. I'm going to see it through. Even if there's no hope. Even if we fail. This is what I was meant to do. And I know what happens next. This will be my final entry. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Stand by to detonate the library. I'm going in. <sighs> Fuck! Will? Already gone. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. Will? There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you.
Will! Already gone. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. Will. There is. That's why I can't. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. Let's stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. We don't have years. Save me. Welcome back. <laughs> hey, Will. Here's a present. Uh, countermeasure. How? Oh, Jack. Will! Come on! Come on, uh, let's go! Ah. Monarch had it the whole time. Does it work? Came back from the future. For me. Fracture wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? Theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, future. No, 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 no. The only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know. And if it could be broken, Jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. It's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set, but the future is. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, No then... egg metaphors. We have to get out of here and get to the Bradbury. Oh, get down. Over here. Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners <clears throat> better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. I know it's a lot to take in. But the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky up. The past remains Stick intact. To the plan. Nothing it's changes. All gravy. And the Novikov self consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. 
Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. Nick. We can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. Dr. Amaral and Dr. Kim both took positions at Monarch. Now I think I understand why. We have to go, Jack. We can't risk being spotted here. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Come on, this place isn't safe. Oh shit, watch out!
Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess.